Join us on a thrilling journey as we apply our expertise and insights from three years of full-time overland travel to craft an all-new rig configuration. We acquired this 2018 Toyota 4Runner TRD off-road, lovingly named Calypso, in late 2022. With approximately 42,000 miles on the odometer, she was already a seasoned traveler. In just under a year and a half, we've added over 60,000 miles to her journey. Calypso came to us with a 2-inch lift, a front bumper mod with a worn winch, rock sliders from RSG Metalworks, and a roof rack from Southern Style Off-Road. Since then, we've made some additions, including an AFN 4x4, dual swing-out rear bumper, new black Rhino wheels, and BF Goodrich KM3 Mud Terrain tires. Our initial build on Calypso included an iCamper 3.0 Sky Camp, a homemade drawer system, and an 82-quart ARB fridge. In the past year, we changed out the rooftop tent to an Alucab 3.1 gen and added two 30-amp 12-volt electrical runs to keep our power stations charging while we drove. We also installed a molly panel and shelf from Rago Fabrication and water storage from Frontrunner Outfitters. Unfortunately, the floorboard water storage did not survive the three children and their feet. Though the previous builds were great, some things about them could have worked better for me. Calypso is my rig, and I travel solo quite often. With the kids getting older and us traveling less and less as a family of five, I no longer needed an 82-quart fridge. I also suffer from pretty significant back and shoulder issues, and pushing up a rooftop tent repeatedly was taking a toll on my body. Earlier this year, I removed the ARB fridge and drawer system, sold the Alucab rooftop tent, and installed a BAM bed, raised platform bed, and a small fridge that fits perfectly under the bed platform. But I still needed a storage solution, water storage, and storage for extra fuel. So we reached out to our friends Kyle and Tate at Oki Overland, and we started planning a new configuration that would be easy for me to use and capture all of my unique wants and needs. Hey everybody, this is the day we make, and we're here with Kyle and Tate of Oki Overland, and we've been here for about two days. We've been working really hard on outfitting Calypso with a different configuration. So if you're new to overlanding or you're OG overlanding, uh, this video is for you, so you're gonna to wanna to stick around. So with that, I will let them each talk about some of the different things that we've done to Calypso. What's up guys, I'm Tate. Uh, this has been a fun project. Uh, Joe said two days, but uh, that's on calendar days. Let's talk about hours. I think we're like, what, 18 hours in at this yeah. point? <laughs> Yeah. Everything that can go wrong has gone wrong, but we've conquered um, and we're excited about how it's uh, turned out so far. So um, we added the OVS pullout kitchen, um, quick storage space, uh, roll up the camp. You've got cooking space, you've got cutting board space, you've got a sink, um, super quick and collapsible. Uh, pretty excited for them to have this. It's got a table up top too that you can pull out, set your computer on, set your whatever on. Um, so they're excited for the OVS. We're excited to hear you guys' feedback. Let us know what you guys think about it. Um, honest feedback. We want honest, real feedback. That's okay. what you get. <laughs> it's not all rainbows and unicorns, and we want to know where the, the demons are. Okay. So uh, that's the OVS kitchen. Super stoked about that. The uh, next thing we did is we modified her uh, dual swing out. Um, we added the jerry cans and the Batic Adventure Co. Uh, propane mount that swings out. We didn't really have a good mount for this, so we uh, we broke out the grinders and welders and uh, made it work. Uh, I'm proud about how it turned out. Pretty, uh, I like to call myself a professional grinder, but uh, I, I I'm pretty proud of this. Yeah, one. this is like the highlight. This is definitely the highlight of the project, I think, because of so much um, ingenuity and fabrication yeah. that just had to go into it. Yeah. So uh, we've got the uh, CBI jerry can mount. We <laughs> mounted the, uh, we put a new light on there for the license plate. The Batic Adventure Company, their uh, new quick release 10 pound propane tank mounts. Yes. Of course, the tank can't, uh, can't fall out driving in the room. Yeah. That's fantastic. It's got locks, you can lock it in there. So. I wanted everything to be super accessible, quick and efficient and make sense for their camp style. So um, yeah, that's what we did on the rear end. Um, we made some modifications on some lumber stuff, but other than that, Kyle, what all did you guys do? What's up guys? We've got the OBS 117 uh, dry boxes. They have several different sizes of them. We mounted two of them up here. The length of the truck so they can access them from driver and passenger here, one for each side. 
OBS 180 awning. Uh, we've been selling these like hotcakes. Uh, Tate runs the same awning on his truck right here. They got the wall kit that goes on it, so I think they're going to be extremely happy with that. In the middle, how this configuration worked out, Misty wanted it right here in the middle. It is a eight gallon water port system. So that is eight gallons of water up there. I personally ran it. I have it on my four wheeler trailer now for hunting stuff. Uh, very durable, hard. I ride over mine with the four wheeler and use it as a wheel chop kind of. Uh, to walk my wheels in so you can drive them there you, you can't hurt them they're, they're pretty slick so put it up there they can take all the force of any tree limbs anything like that uh, we've got the kestrel shower over here the bathroom and the shower so now the water system is going to be back here where you have your uh, you have your hose that goes to it now they'll be able to shower clean dishes go to the bathroom do whatever they need to do and it just easily accessibly and comes out of here uh, touched up the rock sliders got them got them touched up for them got some rust off there yeah, they look good. So we got the uh, got the rig going. I think next is going to be springs. Yeah, we yes. need some springs for the back. She's so getting a little heavy. But this configuration is a little different than what we're used to. Usually it's a lot of uh, rooftop tents and stuff. But guess what? My camp is not their camp and their camp is not mine. And that's what I love about it. It works for them and we're going to make it happen. We're going to make sure it works for you guys. Absolutely. Uh, Thank you very much, Kyle, for every, all the work you guys have put in. It's uh, It's kind of a work in progress along the way and it all came together and we're excited to go uh, we're going to be heading out towards colorado and shooting down in new mexico so over the next several weeks we'll be you know doing check rides and making sure everything is the way we want it everything works out well which i have no um i don't think that that won't be the case so um we'll definitely hear back and I can't guarantee takes well it won't break but i can say i don't sure. think it's <laughs> <laughs> But my bull team so, work up there is great. Heck yeah. So when you need anything, whether you're on the road or you're passing through the area, make sure you swing by the Overland and check these guys out. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Thank you. Thanks, guys.